I met Ken about six years ago here at the Festival of the West. He and Bonnie were here. He had just completed the Waylon Jennings painting. And he seen me, stopped me, and said he would like to do a painting of me. He gave me his card. I called him a couple of weeks later and went out to his house. And I took him some photographs that I had taken north of Phoenix here in the mountains. And he was really impressed with the location. The background was really impressive. So I just told him it's only a couple miles from here. So Bonnie and he and I jumped in the Jeep and went right out to the location and they took about a hundred pictures. He had two 36 roll pictures. He took all of those and then she took a bunch of pictures. And then we picked out one that he did this particular painting of. We had three other paintings in in planning, you know, but then the illness overtook him. And he got the one finished and never got to finish the others. Well, it's an incredible painting. Doesn't he call this JR? Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. The other thing I did with Ken was really interesting. He had just built a studio in the back of his home, and he was teaching painting classes in that studio. And he hired me to come and be a model for the people to paint. And I have this hat here, I have a bobcat hat, I have the old uh, top hat made out of leather with the Indian feathers and beads on it and everything. So they had about four or five different characters they could paint without him hiring four or five different people. And that, that worked out very, very good. That was a beautiful studio back there. It is. Um, what about your relationship with Ken the man? Ken, Ken had a very, very good sense of humor. I'd call him, you old so-and-so, and he'd call me, well, you old so-and-so, and, you know, we were just, we were friends. We were friends. He was the type of person that if you talked to him five minutes, you felt like you were his friend. But we had went out and done the photo, the photo set up. We had done the art classes and stuff like that, and we were just friends. And Bonnie is the nicest person you'd ever want to meet. She's taken a lot of uh, photographs of me. And, and Ken was just, he was just a pleasant person, a friendly person, extremely intelligent. But the one thing that took me more than anything else was this man's talent, his ability to transform onto canvas a person's, not only their image, but he could bring your personality out in a picture. And the detail, like in a fur, like this, every single line is individually done. You know, there's not many artists that have the patience or the ability to paint like that. He was a phenomenal painter. And a great guy, wouldn't and you agree? a great guy. He was a great guy. He really was. Had a fantastic sense of humor. <laughs> well, I appreciate, Jack, your time with us today. And thank you for sharing your memories of Kenneth M. Freeman. Yes. Not only have we lost a great, a great painter, a very great painter, but we've lost another great person great personality. Yeah. He was good. He Thanks was good. again. Thank you.